What's up human beings, this is Alicia and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a story where I was into a do and die situation. Three years back, I bought a car and I'm talking about in mid-January. So 2017, I believe that was and mid-January. I still remember that day because it was so cold and uh, it was windy and if you guys are familiar with the winters in Canada you guys know that the winters are extreme here so basically I bought a car from Kachiji and uh, most of you guys don't know what Kachiji is It's basically a platform where you can buy and sell anything um, you can buy and sell secondhand things or you can buy or sell new things now I purchased a car from Kachiji and um, that was not a very expensive car I purchased it for about 2500 bucks and uh, I only purchased that car to commute to work and to just do skip the dishes now what skip the dishes is most of you guys they know who belong to Canada but who doesn't know what skip the dishes is, let me tell you that skip the dishes is a platform where you can uh, go door to door to deliver food now I was doing that job uh, just for a part time and I was working there just to make some extra cash so one night in mid of the January what happened is that uh, you know about around 10 p.m. I think that was 10 p.m. and it was extremely cold outside and um, it was windy I still remember that day and I was in that car and I was delivering food now my last delivery was about at uh, 10 40 or something like that and uh, usually what happened is that when you get deliveries you don't know what area you're getting the delivery in so I delivered the food and my shift was ended so I was going back home now what happened is that on my way back I got another delivery and that delivery was in another part of the city like it was in the corner of the city it was in the north of the city I live in south and that part was in the north so and it was extreme weather and my shift is ended so I said that well you know what let's do this one and then I'll just go home I picked up that delivery and uh, I started driving towards the restaurant I went to the restaurant I picked up the food and I went to the home now when I went to the home basically there was a woman she came to the door and uh, she said that hey uh, it's extreme outside uh, do you want to come inside and you know do you want to just uh, have a cup of tea or coffee or something like that and maybe after this weather gets a little bit okay then you can go I said no 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 I, I'm okay I can literally I can go she said okay that's fine if you are comfortable going back home you can I said okay so I left and uh, there are two ways to come back home one way was easy that was coming from the city the other way was actually more easier and that was coming through the highway from the outside of the city so since I was in the north and I have to go to the south now I can come from inside of the city or I can actually bypass the whole city and I can actually take the perimeter which is the highway outside the city and I can actually come back home so those were the two ways and uh, I selected the highway because I thought that you know it's 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 okay if I go through the highway because it's extreme and I just want to go fast home so it was about I'm talking about around midnight it was not midnight but it was around midnight the weather was getting more and more uh, extreme and it was getting more and more worse so I still remember I pulled my car it was not a very good big car it was a hatchback it was small car so I said let's go from the highway and that was my first time taking that car to the highway after I purchased that it was just about three or four days I I was driving that car so I went to the highway and um, I started driving the car 
now about around five kilometers i have driven that car and suddenly out of nowhere i was in the middle of the highway nobody was at my right side nobody was at my left side i was in the middle of that highway and it was snowing it was extreme cold weather i still remember around it was around minus 20 or something because when it, it snows it's not too cold but it's still it's cold so it start the smoke starts to come from the vents of the car and and the heater was of course the heater was on so i start smelling something inside the car cabin and i was like yo what's going on and i looked at my car and it was literally smoke was coming out and i got afraid i said maybe this is fire or something like that so i stopped my car after just driving for 5 kilometers i stopped my car and on the road i was standing and i went outside the car i opened the door i opened my hood and what i'm seeing is that something has like the pipe must have broken or it has uh, ruptured from which the oil is coming outside and it was about to just catch fire it was not fire but it was about to catch fire so as soon as i saw that oil coming out i turned off the car immediately and i have a water bottle always in my car so i took the water bottle i poured the water bottle on that particular oil so that it should not catch fire and now i'm just wondering that my car is basically done it's 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 wasted <laughs> and uh, you know it's the middle of the night it's mid midnight and uh, i'm at the highway nobody was behind me nobody in front of me and the highways are of course it's not like busy highways so always it's and it's midnight so of course nobody you, you can't find anybody my house was still far but i was actually near to my cousin's house so what i did is i called him and it was middle of the night and you know i was just praying that he should pick up my phone because it was cold outside it was snowing it was heavy wind and all that kind of stuff still i was sitting in my car i went back in my car i i phoned him and apparently he picked my phone and he's like yo man what's up and all that kind of stuff so we had a chat there and i told him that hey uh you know i need your help i am in a trouble i'm in the middle of the highway right now and my car is on fire like the engine is literally smoked so i need your help can you please come and you know can you come to the highway and have a look there or can you please drop me home or something he said sure without even thinking without even having a second thought he said man sure that's uh, th- I- i'll definitely come you just send me your address and i'll come so i was apparently i had uh, the wa- i mean i had the data on my phone so i shared my location with him on whatsapp and i was sitting in the car i was going through the facebook and it was getting cold and cold because since the car is off so and the heater is not on so you can imagine that it's minus 20 outside so now the car is starting to get cold from inside so i was getting cold and i didn't had any gloves and all that kind of stuff so it was literally so much cold inside the car and after about 15 minutes somebody from behind um honked at me and i looked at the back and what i'm seeing is a light of hope and what i'm seeing is my cousin popping out of the car and he came to my window and he's like yo man what's up and my car got smoked so we checked the car so he opened my hood he checked my car he's like man this is like going to get into flames if you're going to turn it on so what i can do is um you can drive slowly if it's running if it's not running then we probably have to tow it but if it's running then you can drive slow and you can just follow me and we can go home So my home was still about 15 to 20 kilometers from there and um, we took the risk I turned on my car and on the low speed like probably 40 or 50 kilometers per hour I was driving my car just behind him and he was in front of me 
we were we were having our flashers on and everything so we were going on a highway very slow weather extreme and we dropped off my car at my home finally we came back to the home and i dropped off my car so this was a story now the purpose of sharing this story with you guys is that everybody has a do and die situation in their life and we never know that when this kind of situation is going to come because if we know then we will be prepared for that but if we don't know we don't know what i wanted to share the message i wanted to say was no matter what no matter what your family and your friends they always comes first if you don't have a family if you don't have a friend and you are that kind of a person who love to live alone i appreciate you i am that kind of a person do i live alone i just want to be alone but again if you don't have that social interaction with your family and your friends you don't have anything in your life because you never know these kind of situation the only people who are going to come in your hard times are your family and your friends they are the only people who will come to you and they will help you without any discrimination without thinking twice without any purpose they will just come and they will help you and uh this don't this don't ever say that you don't want anybody because as a human if you are a human being you need somebody so that was it for today and i hope you guys like the message you like the story if that's the case please hit the like comment and share hit subs and as always i will see you in the next video until then peace out